Hi there and welcome to our channel. Today I want to talk about a tool that can help you fine tune your investment portfolio even if you don't have time to research stocks every day. It's called Seeking Alpha and it's a stock screening and research tool that provides expert insight into the financial world. But is it worth signing up for? That's what we're going to take a look at and find out as we do this Seeking Alpha review. Thank you so much for checking out our channel and especially this review. I'll soon take you inside a paid subscription of Seeking Alpha just so you can see the signup process and how it looks, how it feels, and even how it may be of use to you. Two other things I did want to mention before I get further into this video. We do have a special link and I'll pin that in the comments below and I'll also include that link in the description of this video that gets you 50% off your first year's subscription. So definitely a nice deal for anyone who has been interested in Seeking Alpha but just wasn't sure if it was the right fit for them. The other thing that I did wanna mention is that I previously made another video reviewing The Motley Fool, kind of sort of their competitor to Seeking Alpha. So I'll put a link above for you to go ahead and check that out too if you want and I can also throw that link in the description of the video below. If you're still undecided with which subscription package may be the best fit for you, in the future I'm going to put a comparison video between the two services and so if you would be interested in that definitely subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified when I'm able to drop that video. All right enough about that let's talk a little bit about Seeking Alpha and what it is in the first place. So. Seeking Alpha is a stock screening and investment research tool. It was founded in 2004 by a former technology research analyst from Morgan Stanley, David Jackson, and now boasts over 10 million registered users, making what they say is the largest community of investors in the world. So how exactly does Seeking Alpha work? Seeking Alpha is a subscription-based service for investors with three different subscription tiers to choose from, including a free option called Seeking Alpha Basic. To get started, simply create an account on the Seeking Alpha website and enter your email address and password. For premium and pro subscriptions, you'll also need to enter your credit card details, which I will go through the process of what that looks like shortly in the premium service. Once you have your account, you can log in, read through news articles, you can manage your portfolio, you can access the latest investing insights. Seeking Alpha is a feature-rich investing tool with several key features, including the following, an investing community, newsletters, stock research, ratings, there's scanners, they have mobile app for iOS and Android, there are three subscription tiers that we mentioned, that basic premium and pro package, it's best for intermediate to advanced data-driven investors. And finally, they have support via phone and email. Now, the primary goal of Seeking Alpha is to help you find investing ideas. And to do so, it offers the following features. Things like following authors, accessing newsletters, top-rated stocks list for premium and pro subscribers, and finally, stock and ETF screener tools for premium and pro subscribers as well. Once you find a potential investing idea, Seeking Alpha provides several tools to help you learn more about it. And these tools include five stock ranking metrics, including Wall Street ratings, Seeking Alpha author ratings, quant ratings, factor grades, and dividend grades. It also includes downloading and printing financials, an analyst opinions and projections, earnings and dividend calendar. When it comes to pricing, Seeking Alpha offers three different subscription tiers with the following pricing. There's that basic package that is $0 a month, it's free. There's the premium package, which is $19.99 a month. And then there's the pro package, which is $69.99 a month. As I mentioned before, we have a special link for you. And that premium service will be 50% off the first year by using the link. Before I go any further giving an overview or a review, let me show you the signup process and what you get with the premium subscription package. All right, so now we're to the point where we're ready to sign up. So um, we're here on this page. I'll just kind of scroll down for a second and let you check things out. Um, but then I'm just gonna go back up here and I'm gonna click the button 
And as you can see, it's gonna take us to this area where we need to fill out a bunch of information. Um, we are obviously, we're registering for the premium package, that middle package, which I think, um, as I look at all the different um, details and variations of the basic, um, the premium or the pro, I think this is a good option for someone um, and it's gonna cover most of what you need as far as this service is um, concerned. You can just trust that I'm going to fill out this um, application or to sign up. So just, I don't wanna release any of my personal information. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then we'll pick back up once we are into um, the inside of the program. So we got through this sign up process and there are a couple uh, pages that they want us to kind of fill out. And that's just to help to um, configure the site to your needs. And so they are asking for a couple um, details. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and click through this until we get to the main page. All right, so we are now into the site and I'm not gonna lie, as you look at this main page and screen, it is a little bit overwhelming. As I just kind of scroll across the top, you can see a couple of the features that we're gonna be getting into um, and taking a look at uh, as you look at it here. Obviously, I'm gonna go to this premium because that kind of is telling us, um, this is showing us a lot of the things that we get with this premium package. And so let's go through a couple of these and learn a little bit more about each of those different tabs. So we are here at the premium. I'm just gonna to go to that premium overview. And that's really just gonna kinda of share a couple basic things about what you get with this service. So um, there's not a ton of things here, but I just figured I would scroll down and kinda of just give you a nice inside look of that. Let's go back up to the premium and let's go to the compare stocks and funds. What that does is that takes us to a page that um, is really just some you know pre-filtered lists depending on what you're looking to invest in. So if you're looking at these, there's the FANG stocks, gold ETFs, cash equivalents. And if I would go here um, and click on these links, it would then take me to um, a page that's going to show me which stocks come out um, on top in those areas. But I'm not gonna really go into detail, but that is just one simple basic option that you have whenever you are um, inside of the program. Next, let's go to portfolio ratings. So I did go ahead, just so we were ready for it on, in this video, I did go ahead and just create a basic um, mock portfolio just to show you how this service then takes what your portfolio is and really customizes it for you. It just makes it a lot more organized as you work through the site. As you can see, if we go into the YouTube, I put YT for YouTube, I just added um, four, two funds and two stocks. And then um, what you can do, let me just go back. And what it's gonna do, is gonna give you the latest articles that, are, um, that have been written and on these different sites, on these different sites, on these different companies that I chose in that portfolio. I can go to the articles, I can get news on it. There's warnings. Um, good, and there's obviously you can see none of your stocks have any warnings at this time. But you can go ahead and look at the transcripts, the press releases, and once again, these are all geared towards whatever you put in your portfolio. Let's now go back up to premium and let's go down to the stock screener. Now the stock screener is definitely um, something that is really important to a lot of people because it's gonna help you narrow down which um, stocks or maybe some stocks that you're gonna be interested in actually buying. So if I really was interested in doing this, I would just go to create new screen. And as I click on that, it's going to then open up an area where I can select different, um, basically filter out what I'm looking for and it's gonna give me the best stocks in that category, that sector, that industry. So just for example, if you look, I would go United States, it's gonna work for me. Maybe I need to put United in, sorry about that. Okay, United States, I want, so I want stocks in the United States. I want, um, let's just say, maybe I'm interested in energy and more specifically, I'm interested in oil and gas. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And it automatically is starting to create a list. Now I can mess with these different ratings so that I want stock to have a certain quant rating um, 
and so on, Wall Street analyst rating. But with that said, I really would just want to actually take a look at um, something that quant rating. The quant rating is something that um, is a one of the big um, one of the big reasons why people are interested in using Seeking Alpha. So if I go over here and just to learn a little bit more about quant ratings, um, Seeking Alpha's quant ratings are an objective evaluation of stocks based on financial data, price performance, analyst estimates, and much more. Um, learn how to use this powerful data when evaluating instruments. So there's a lot of <clears throat> value to the quant rating. And so people like to utilize that, especially um, within that stock screener that we were just in. I'm not going to really go into too much more detail about that stock screener, but it is uh, very nice to see having filtered it much up here. It's going to give me some stocks that are go obviously getting a very nice quant rating and a quant rating you can have a max of five and you're seeing 4.99 and a lot of green with these stocks. Obviously you don't want to see too much red, but you can see valuation, growth, profitability, like it narrows it down big time as you are analyzing and looking into different companies that you might be interested in investing in. Going back into that premium section and the top rated stocks, and this is just gonna, um, where's it at, top rated stocks? Um, this is just going to kind of give you a list of the top rated stocks that are currently of interest to investors. Another thing I did forget to mention is I wanted to go ahead and take a look at the quant performance. So I've kind of just shared how that quant rating is so important. Well. Here is exactly why the quant rating is important because you can see this is a chart comparing the top quant rating, so the stocks that, that they value um, using that system compared to the S&P 500, which is what a lot of people um, like to compare how their investments are doing against. And if you look at this, okay, the green is the quant rating. And you can just see with $10,000 investment, you can see how that has gone since 2010. To 2000 to now where we're at in 2023 um, you're looking at you know total returns of hundred ninety six thousand dollars if you look there on the right as opposed to a thirty six thousand dollar return return over S&P 500 is hundred and sixty thousand dollars more which comes out to 26 percent annualized return so this just shows you that that quant rating does have a pretty um, powerful you know display over the S&P 500, which is pretty interesting. And obviously you can read more about how their quant system works, but it's pretty cool. It's a, a very nice system um, and just might some, be something that you're interested in with this service. Next, I just want to go to my portfolio and I just wanted to um, highlight the link brokerage account. So this is a function that I think you definitely might be interested in that you can actually link your brokerage account with this service. So you're going to then be able to have access to so much, so many more resources because they are linked together. And that, as you see on the screen, Seeking Alpha uses, uh, I guess it's spelled, you say it, Plaid um, or Plaid to connect your account. And you can connect effortlessly. I'm not actually going to do that right now but you have the ability to, um, you know, a lot of options, a lot of different brokerages are going to be um, compliant with this service. Another big reason that people tend to like Seeking Alpha is this My Authors section. And if you look, the My Authors section is gonna go ahead and take us here. And as we are looking, you get access to, um, these authors that obviously are well respected clearly there's a there's a big following for a lot of these people and you can kind of get to know them obviously I'm going to click on more authors and you can kind of narrow it down because some of these authors are going to be writing about certain particular sectors or certain particular companies that they know a lot about or that they have done um, the research they're well um, accredited so this is definitely something that another area that people really like because you do get access with the premium subscription to um, all of these different authors. And as you can see on the left side here, you can kind of narrow it down to what you're looking for. Maybe you're looking into gold and precious metals so you can find authors that are writing about that. Maybe you're into dividend investing. And so you'll be able to learn about dividend companies with 
um, these highly respected authors. So I'm gonna wrap it up here inside. I'm just gonna kind of slowly float over these um, sections across the screen. But there is a lot, and as I said, it is a little overwhelming. There's so much more to learn and to do with this service, but I just wanted to kind of give you um, kind of the basics of what you might expect to do with a service such as Seeking Alpha. Um, let me just finish out taking a look at the education and then the alpha picks, get the top stock picks. And there's obviously another service that obviously you ha looks like, as you see, you have to actually pay for that service which we will get into as maybe one of the cons of Seeking Alpha that if you want to take it to the next level, sometimes you even have to pay a little more, um, which obviously can be annoying for some people when they are using services and think they're paying for something like that. So I hope that gave you a nice look at what to expect should you want to get the premium subscription of Seeking Alpha. Like all of our reviews, I want to try to highlight the pros and the cons of the product or service so let's start with the pros of Seeking Alpha. The pros include it provides an in-depth information about stocks and ETFs in a user-friendly interface. It's available online and in a desktop app or on a mobile app. There's an option to link your brokerage accounts for up-to-date portfolio management. There's a great collection of articles from thousands of authors and analysts. It offers dozens of newsletter and subscriptions. There's a unique stock and ETF analysis metric for additional insight. There's stock ideas that, that make it easy to screen thousands of stocks. And it makes it easy to download and print financials from top companies. Obviously, there are some cons, so let's highlight those as well. Some of the Seeking Alpha cons include the free basic subscription is highly limited. The subscription fees are fairly high. There's a limited information about mutual funds and crypto. It's too complex for first time investors. And there are additional fees required to access certain services, things like crypto waves. To summarize all of this, Seeking Alpha is a valuable tool for investors who are looking for expert insight into the financial world. With its various features ranging from stock screening and research to access to news and investment insights, it could help you maximize your investing strategies. And whether you're a beginner or an advanced investor, Seeking Alpha offers something for everyone. There's that free basic option and the premium option. There's also that pro option to choose from. Give it a try and see if it can help you reach your investing goals. That's all I have for now. If you did find value in this video, please do us a favor and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. That definitely helps push the content out to others who might be interested in learning more about Seeking Alpha as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.